The Tallahassee Taj Mahal has been one of just a couple of hot issues in the race for chief financial officer. And while the Democratic candidate, Loran Osley, has tried to use that against her opponent, Jeff Atwater, Atwater says the real blame lies with the current CFO, Alex Sink. The CFO signed the checks when the building was being built that was not to state specs. It was, uh, the state specifications had been exceeded. Mahogany wood and granite countertops and flat screen TVs. I caught up with Senate President Jeff Atwater in an early voting campaign event in Kendall Tuesday. He says the legislature's job is to approve and appropriate the funds for things like courthouses, schools, and other public buildings. But the CFO, who in this case is gubernatorial Who's candidate Alex Sink, is supposed to be overseeing how the money is spent. That's why she's required to sign the checks. But she never brought it up publicly or called for an audit until a report about the excessive spending was published in the news back in August. Well, it's easy to raise it once the, the media points it out that what in the heck is this building doing out here? About a week and a half ago, Sunshine State News attempted to ask Sink why she didn't raise the red flag sooner, but she fled from our cameras and hasn't returned our messages. Why won't the CFO's office take responsibility for not uh, uh, for appropriating money that was never approved by the legislature to do those things. In Kendall, Lane Wright, Sunshine State News.